scale drawings word problems. Let's go ahead and start with this first problem. Hugo drew a scale drawing of a community college. A building at the college is 10 centimeters wide in the drawing. The actual building is 90 meters wide. What scale did Hugo use for the drawing? What I recommend when working on these problems is to write out two ratios creating a proportion. Let's start with the information that's already given to us. A building at the college is 10 centimeters, that's the drawing, while the actual building is 90 meters. So let's create our first ratio, 10 centimeters to 90 meters. Now, what scale did Hugo use for the drawing? One centimeter to blank meters. So the blank is our variable, our missing piece. So what matters here is that we keep the one aligned with the centimeters. So this should be one centimeter. And what we are missing is down here. That could be your X or whatever you want to call it. You can write a question mark if you wish, just leave it blank. So recall from our previous topic that the shortcut to completing this would be to take 90, multiply by one, that's 90, and then divide it by the third value, in this case, 10, 90 divided by 10, nine. Therefore, X, which is in meters, would be nine, nine meters. So the final answer, you would type as nine which is nine meters. Let's try another. Dave measured a house and its lot and made a scale drawing. The scale he used was two millimeters to one meter. Before we continue, let's go ahead and create this ratio back on our drawing board. Two millimeters to one meter. Two millimeters to one meter meter and that should be set equal to if the front patio is 18 millimeters in the drawing how wide is the actual patio so what we are given are millimeters note that millimeters are on the top therefore we have to write the 18 millimeters on top in the numerator therefore we're missing our denominator again you could write a variable if you're going to show each algebra step or simply leave it blank or even write a question mark Okay, well technically most of your math teachers, including myself, would ask you to write a variable. 18 times 1, 18, divided by 2, 9. Therefore, x is equal to 9. In other words, how wide is the actual patio? 9 meters. Matt is a regional manager at a chain of stores and splits his time between two stores. The stores are eight centimeters apart on the map of store locations. If the scale of the map is one centimeter equals one kilometer, then what is the actual distance between the first store and the second store? Let's start with the ratio that is given to us. Even though we were given this value first, the actual ratio we're given is one centimeter to one kilometer. So we'll start with one centimeter, one centimeter to one kilometer, and we'll set that equal to centimeters over kilometers. Now, what are we missing? What do we have? Are we given the centimeters or are we given the kilometers? Let's go back to our problem. The other value we were given was in centimeters, eight centimeters. Therefore, we are looking for the kilometers. 8 centimeters, that would have to go on top because that's where our centimeters are. Therefore, we are missing our kilometers here. So again, cross multiply. 1 times 8, 8 divided by that third value, 1, that would be 8. Therefore, this is 8 kilometers. Let's skip forward to another type of problem. Now, when you get to these type of problems. Craig made a scale drawing of a community college. 
he used the scale one centimeter equals one meter. What is the scale factor of the jar? In these problems, what you'll notice is we have two different sets of units, yet we have to create a ratio in one unit. One centimeter over one meter. So if we start by writing what we are given, one centimeter is one meter. Now we have to convert these, and my recommendation is convert these so that you keep the unit that is smaller. What is smaller, centimeters or meters? Centimeters is a smaller value. We'll start by first converting before reducing. So one centimeter will stay as it is. Now we need to convert one, millimeter, one meter rather to one or to a certain number of centimeters. Some of you might already know that conversion off the top of your head. You can simply Google that conversion. What is one meter or one meter in centimeters, for example, or one meter to centimeters. Multiple ways of typing that out in Google. Or we can use a reference table that I've shared with you, which is in your textbook. We can look for meters to centimeters. So you would have to glance around here. We're looking in the metric system. And here, one meter in centimeters would be 100 centimeters. So now, when you go back to writing this out, we have one centimeter to one meter is really the same as having one centimeter to 100 centimeters. Now what you have to ask yourself is, can we reduce this? In this case, is there a number we can divide both one and 100 by to make this a simpler fraction? No, because we cannot. All we do is get rid of the units, they cancel each other out, and we leave this as one over 100. So one to 100 would be the ratio that we are typing. And it says in the instructions to use a colon, one to 100. If you can reduce the fraction, then reduce it. And if you can reduce by hand, do so by hand. Otherwise, you can just use your calculator, type it on into your calculator and reduce, or go online and type reduce the fraction and type your fraction. Remember, you have links to online calculators that I've shared with you. You can use those as well. Make sure you email me if you have questions or run into any problems in this section.